Good day, my fellow yogis. I'm glad to be alive, and I hope that you are too. We're finishing our week of bandhas and kumbhakas. So we're going to do Nadi Shodhana, which is sometimes what everybody thinks is what pranayama is all about, the alternate nostril cleansing technique. But as you've seen from the presentation and the combinations that I've been sharing over the last year, uh, there's a lot of differences, uh, a lot of broader, broader practice to pranayama than just Nadi Shodhana. All right, our mudra of the day is Ganesha mudra. That's where you turn one hand back to front and you grip the fingers together like that and give a light pull apart where the elbows are kind of like level with your level with your shoulders, right? So Ganesha was the mover of remover of obstacles. It builds confidence and courage and evokes the qualities of warmth and caring for yourself as well as other people. So remember, five to forty-five minutes in each mudra to feel the effect. All right. So that's where we are. All right, so we're going to begin, <clears throat> and because Nadi Shodhana has both sides to do, and we're going to end up doing both Mula Bandha and Uriyana Bandha, we're going to do two cycles of each. So let's get to it. Adjust your posture, Jalandara Bandha, lift the chest up at the same time as you drop the chin, keep the back body broad. All right. One cycle to make sure that you understand the the uh, placement, you inhale through the right, you block the left, you block the right, you exhale through the left, and you inhale through the left, close that and you exhale through the right. Drop your hand, take a restorative breath. All right, that's our template. Let's begin with Antar Kumbak, holding after the inhale. Restorative exhale, raise the breath, raise the hand, block left, inhale right. And wait there in Antar Kumbak. Block the right, exhale, open left. Inhale, open left. Wait there in Antar Kumbak. Block the left, open right, exhale. Relax your hand and restore the breathing. Right. Next round, repeating the Antar Kumbak. Restorative exhale, raise the hand, block left, breathe right. Wait there in Antar Kumbak. Block right, exhale left. Inhale, open left. Hold the breath. Block left, exhale right. Relax your hand. Restore the breathing. All right, so that's our first round. And you'll notice that when you pull the root lock, you're holding the breath. So that's why Antar Kumbak comes before doing Mula Bandha. All right, Mula Bandha is pulling the perineum, the soft tissue between rectum and genitals, in and up, with or without Ashwini Mudra, which means the rectal muscles can be involved or not. All right, so let's go to our second round. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Block left. Breathe in. Open right. Wait there and pull the root lock. Release the lock, block right, exhale, open left. And inhale through the open left. Go 
right there. Add move on there. Release the lock, block left, exhale right. Relax your hand and restore the breathing. Everything we're doing is still following the end result or end aim of yoga, which is to settle or still the mind <clears throat> and then merge it. So the individual soul, the jivatman, rests in the paramatman, the universal soul. We find out what in us is like spirit. Second cycle in the second round. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block left, breathe open right. Advanced students, you can narrow the nostrils if you choose. Wait there, add Mulabanda. Release the lock, block right, exhale left. And breathe in through the left. Wait there. Add the root lock. Let go, block left, exhale right. Come back to restore the breathing. So Obviously, we're withdrawing from the outer world temporarily and focusing on the inner world. And it's really an ordinary thing to do, to go back and forth between sense perception, thinking, and then really involving yourself in your own inner world. So this is a fruitful dialogue that then the idea is to pay attention in the same way to your ordinary everyday life, the smallest of daily activities, However mundane it is, focus your attention there because that's where reality is. All right, we're moving on to the third round. This is where we're going to practice biokumbaka, which is holding the exhale, post-exhalative. And then after two rounds of that, we'll add Uriyana Bandha, which is contracting the area above and below the navel in and up to the spine. This is how we're merging, as yoga would say, the apana and prana. Downward action and the upward action. And that's going to open up the central central canal, according to yoga, called, called the shishumna, and uh, bring the block potential energy that we have in our pelvis all the way up into our head to clarify our thinking and give us insight. All right, let's get to it. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Block left, breathe in right. Block right, exhale left. Now wait there in Bayakumbaka. And inhale through the left. Block left, exhale right. Relax your hand, wait there in external retention. And restorative breathing. Always pay attention to the quality of that first restorative breath. Hopefully it didn't come in with a jerk or a gasp or too loud. That will indicate that you're disturbing the rhythm. So only hold the kumbhakas to the degree that you are smooth, in your restorative breath and your rhythm can continue effortlessly. Always take more restorative breaths if you need and reduce the time of the hold so you're not shaking or straining in any way. Second cycle, exhale the breath, raise the hand, block left, breathe in right.
block right, exhale left. Wait there and buy a kumbaka. Block right, breathe in left. Block left, exhale right. Relax then, wait there in external retention. And gently restorative breath. So regularity in practice is important as part of abhyasa. But it's also a reminder that you're supposed to put this spiritual knowledge into action. It's not mere theoretical knowledge. Just as the guru or your mentor lives up to what they preach and shows by example what they have experienced, so we too are supposed to embody what that teaching is as we take the transmission from the previous generation and we light the fire in our own generation only to pass it on to the next generation. All right, so now two rounds of Bayokumbaka, but also adding Uddiyana Bandha. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block left, inhale right. Block right, exhale left. Now wait there, pull the stomach lock in and up. Release the lock, inhale left. Block left, exhale right. Relax the hand, Uriana Banda. Release the lock and restore the breathing. Let's do one more cycle that way. Restorative exhale, raise the hand, block left, inhale right. Block right, exhale left. Relax your hand, Uddiyana Banda. Release the lock, breathe in through the left. Lock left, exhale right. the hand and apply stomach lock. Release the lock and restore to breathe. So every time we practice, we're making a pilgrimage, but the pilgrimage is into external sacred space or holy space. The pilgrimage is into your own heart. You're always moving into the to the center of your own heart. So that's the meditative way to go to the inward life. Every day, take a pilgrimage. All right, so now we're up to the final cycle. <clears throat> this is the most <clears throat> challenging and advanced one, so don't hold as long in the kumbhakas or breathe in or breathe out as long as you're as, uh, as much as you're capable of doing. You have to find out what is your capacity, test your capacity. So we'll be doing inhale right, Mulabanda, exhale left, Uriyana Banda. Inhale left, Mulabanda, exhale right, Uriyana Banda. Let's try it. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Block left, inhale right.
Wait there, pull the Mulabanda. Release the lock, block right, left, exhale. Uriana Banda. Release, breathe in left. Wait there. Mulabanda. Release the lock, block left, exhale right. And Uriana Banda. Release and restore to breathing. All right, so now you got a taste of that. Adjust as is necessary so it's smooth as possible, even though the ultimate goal is the prolongation. Go as long as you can, as long as it's not forced and strained. All right, final cycle. Exhale the breath. <clears throat> Raise the hand, block left, breathe in right. Wait there, add the root lock. Release the lock, block right, exhale left. Add Uriana Banda. Release the lock, breathe in through left. Stop there, squeeze the root lock. Release the lock, block left, exhale right. Drop the hand. Uriana Banda. And then final breathe in through the right nostril. Relax your hand and just restore to breathing. And you can gently raise your head up and open your eyes. All right, we've made it through. <clears throat> Thanks for another week of practice. <clears throat> this will be in the video library for those of you who want to follow up on this. And it may seem like this is impossible to do or that you're escaping from the world, but in order to continue to focus in ekagrata, one pointedness, one pointed way, on your spiritual practice. Detach yourself from what doesn't feel good to the extent that you can. Be sympathetic, gentle, and appreciative of yourself and everything that you've been through. And we'll see you at the beginning of next week to finish off our series of 300 pranayama videos. Have a great day.